Hello everyone and welcome to Markoi In Between Builds. Uh, Markoi In Between Builds is a build series uh, that was suggested by one of you guys um, to explore a little bit of the builds that I do in between the builds that I uh, feature in my um, other build series, the big build series. And um, today uh, we're gonna feature, um, well, actually part of the last big build that I did. Um, and you see them behind me already. Uh, today we're gonna explore the shops that I built in the uh, Radon Circuits uh, building. So uh, let's not wait any longer and just go there. And I'm gonna switch to the viewer mode, or the player mode. And the first shop that we find here is BS Comms. And BS Comms is a um, no, communication shop uh, probably where they will probably sell uh, communicators or whatever or maybe uh, com implants because that is how the uh, cyberpunk city rolls everyone has implants um, then over here next door we find buck and buck is a well small bistro or restaurant type of deal with some uh, yeah, it's a little bit a little bit shabby shop uh, I don't know, is that fungus? I, I don't know, it's... But uh, yeah, as you can see here, use some uh, sea pickles as ingredients, uh, maybe some pots for cooking and stuff like that. Um, the, the menu, of course, with all the choices. Uh, a little bit run down place, here you see that most of the lights are on, but that one's broken probably. So, but yeah, Buck is still loving his job. Or not, I don't know. Um, and then if we look over here, it's quite a walk, but here we'll find Jixer. I updated the sign a little bit with what you've seen in the uh, in the uh, big episode. And yeah, here we have a clothing shop. Uh, you can get the clothes from the uh, from the trays here. Oh, hey loser! Did some nice uh, 3D effect on the wall here. Use some quartz for that and some end rods, just to give it a futuristic feel. So yeah, that is Jixer. Then we move on to uh, Raw, and Raw is, well, yeah, it's, it's what shall I say, um, it, it's a parts uh, a shop, and they sell all the parts you can imagine, and uh, yeah, I, I actually think it's, it's quite a nice way to display them with the, uh, with the item phrase. So, and we got Mr. Raw sitting behind this computer here plenty choices in the shop as you can see and then we move down one floor it's quite a walk uh, this is actually nice now you can see the detail um, that I used for the for the wall uh, so I uh, used a bit of wool a bit of um, uh, uh, concrete powder uh, some, uh, some lighter concrete and then the dark concrete and yeah of course if you stand close to it yeah it looks a bit a little bit strange but if you fly away then you get this effect so sometimes you have to play a little bit also with, with yeah considering the perspective which most players will have i mean if you walk past there you're yeah you, you don't really look at it because uh, you're going somewhere you know, and uh, yeah, if you look from a distance, you only see the effect. So that is, of course, yeah. Sometimes, you know, with Minecraft, when you're close to things, then they look a little bit awkward. But uh, in the end, they uh, they're just fine. Here, oh, sorry, I didn't show the name of the shop. This is the Mood Shop. It's like yeah, probably something with essence burners or something like that, or. Aromatherapy, maybe, or whatever kind of 
uh, stimulants you can use to get in a certain mood. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's this uh, shop. Nice little thing. Then we go around the corner. We found Elon. And Elon is not well, kind of like some small kiosk like things and the shopkeeper here has some technical stuff behind him not sure what he's selling though but yeah a little bit psychedelic shop then around the corner here we got the Q Mart as you can see the Q Mart is actually quite big oh no kitty oh no kitty you broken it okay well I have to fix that I was afraid of that already but yeah I used uh, some mine cards here as uh, um, yeah, to be the uh, the trace where you, uh, the, the shopkeeper will put the items stuff like that but yeah uh, as you can see when villagers and uh, kiddies walk in then they break stuff oh he's also broken the, the shopping cart a little bit okay so I, I need some maintenance here then if we walk out I realize we just missed one shop because on this floor there's another two shops and here we have this thing and it's a pawn shop so you can deposit your um, uh, diamonds or emeralds and gold and probably silver here and then yeah you get some money in return we probably never see it back though that's how it goes um, but we uh, got uh, onyx here and onyx is also a, a nice little uh, eatery looks a little bit more um, civilized as the other one and I, at least I don't see fungus on the wall so yeah so that's that and then over here we find the tattoo for you it's a tattoo shop and some couches where you can wait and here the uh, tables where they can put you on to put the tattoos on and these are probably tattoo examples which you can do a nice fiery pit on your arm or a skull or whatever okay can we walk down again yeah and, and as you can see also this area people just dump their trash here maybe we, we've seen it already in, in other parts of the area uh, yeah, that's a little bit what happens in the uh, in the cyberpunk cities people that just dump the trash everywhere they go over here we find sticks and uh, sticks is also a nice little shop not sure not exactly sure what they make here I see a machine here that's filling up these uh, these cauldrons with something uh, green stuff here over here hello sir are you busy so yeah and then we go over here for BDs and, and BDs are us so you can get brain dances here you can see the beds where uh, you can lay down on to enjoy your brain dance then he's probably uh, wearing his uh, wreath where he's uh, editing brain dances uh, for people who have never played um, uh, Cyberpunk before, a brain dance is like a virtual experience um, based on someone's memory. So um, yeah, everything gets recorded, and uh, they can edit the uh, the memory into uh, experience that you can relive again. So that's a brain dance. And now over here we find Lockham. It's like a yeah, uh, a sort of storage shop where you can uh, uh, pay to store your uh, your stuff over here. A sort of cell service uh, uh, kiosk. And then we go down to the lower floor again.
And then around the corner here, we find the chop shop. Another chop shop, you find everything, but mostly heads. <laughs> so, yeah. Everything that you can chop, you can find here. Small little shop. Um, and then uh, the last shop uh, is the Dirt Bomb. And uh, Dirt Bomb is also it's a bit of a storage uh, type uh, thing. Uh, nice uh, detail is the roof here. Uh, the, yeah, the ceiling, I must say. Yeah, looks. Uh, looks rather nice um, so yeah and I guess that is uh, of course more dirt or dirt uh, trash here so yeah I guess um, that was the uh, the Makoi in between builds tour of today um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the detail um, if there's anything else that you would like to have uh, an in-between uh, episode for, let me know and uh, I'll, uh, I'll walk through it and uh, show you the details that you normally don't see in any episode. So, um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing and see you guys next time.